Now I am brooding on a pillow with my arm resting on my head, eyes closed on Gulf's black time. Water buffalo herds, wide streets, the liquid image of the liquid image of olive oil Popeyes in and out of a second mixed up with a vast blankness. This is myself in the flesh. Who am I to trust? I feel companion to all of us now before death, waiting inside life. One big place we are here. Others have left before us. Where could they keep themselves absent from now? But what tricks they had to play to escape from the fat bodies. To take that step at last, cracked open from head to foot, choking blind, swallowing themselves entire like the snake that does remain to them the old reminder of before the solitary question one became, one was familiar. That poor, hopeless being in the dark Knowing his own whole universe, a big selfish lie becomes so painful it must vomit all its memory away and let that reptilian vastness recreate itself apart from eye or ear or any dreaded touching anymore. Who am I in bed with my eyes closed, so familiar from before, like the ghost of Elise running in panic under Bellevue Gothic arches and dragged forth into the daylight by her family, the police? What was she pointing at? Hudson River night, the voices only she could hear. And now she is only this ghost fleeing in the dark holes of my vast head with its eyelids curtain. Now it is blue dawn outside and I'm back in the trance of smoking and talking across the concrete room with breezes of Indian fan and my hiccups. I'll be a symbolist. And Aunt Rose be a symbol, shining and transparent Newark and Uncle Max be sitting at his desk adding up figures on a page like me and smoking a cigar and Aunt Eleanor too be in me as I saw her last lying in Montefiore bed behind white curtains frightened schoolgirl voice saying am I going to die and Naomi now wailing only in far away rooms of ten mines dressing and undressing and pulling her brown stockings on and off and Uncle Sam's big head looks more dwarfish as the years have passed him by, and Garver is coughing by the, bar by the barred window, and Canister is showing his bloody hands, and I am amazed by the dead population that must grow to include me with the rest. How so what? This is what I'm afraid of, I guess. As it dawns on me that it will make no difference after I'm gone, we'll all be free from each other if that's what we want, to escape the nostalgic self-pity of separation. <laughs> Gridakuta Hill. I've got to get out of the sun, mouth dry and red towel wrapped round my head. Walking up, crying, singing, ah, sunflower, where the traveler's journey. Close my eyes, it's done in the black hole there, sweet breath, far, far away. Up the stone hill, past where Bimbisara, king, left his armies and got down off his elephant and walked up to meet Napoleon Buddha pacing back and forth on the platform of red brick on the jut rock crag staring out, lidded eyed beneath the burning white sunlight down on Rajgir kingdom below, ants, wheels within wheels of empire, houses, carts, streets, messengers, wells and water flowing, staring into past and future simultaneous kingdoms here and gone on Jupiter, instant x-ray twinkle of an eye, myriad brick cities on Earth and under, New York, Chicago, Palenque, Jerusalem, Delphos, Machu Picchu, Akko, Herculaneum, Rajagriha, here below, all windy, with the tweedle of birds and the blue rocks leaning into the blue sky. Vulture Peak, desolate bricks, Flies on the knee, hot shadows, raven screech and wind blast over the hills from desert plains south toward Bodhgaya. All the noise I made with my mouth singing on the path up, Gary. 
thinking of all the pale youths and virgins shrouded with snow, chanting Om Shanti all over the world. And who but Peter du Peru walking on the streets of San Francisco arrived in my mind on Vulture Peak. Then turned round and round on my heels, singing, plucking out my eyes and ears and nose and tongue and balls as I whirled longer and longer. The mountain stretched swiftly flying in circles as I circled on my heels, the hills undulating and roads speeding around me in the valley, till when I stopped and stood still, the earth moved in my eyeball, green bulges slowly and stopped. My thirst in my cheeks and tongue and back throat drives me home. If it weren't for you, Mr. Jukebox, with your aluminum belly roaring and 30 teeth eating dirty drachmas, and your eyes all over the world, star eyes, purple diamonds, and white brain revolving with his black discs in every bar from London to Piraeus, winking and beaming every Saturday night. What silence there be instead of boys screaming and dancing wherever I go. Hail, jukebox of Parama with your attendant minstrels and juveniles and whores. And illuminated porches where kids leap to your noise bouncing over the black ocean. It's Negro voices screaming thousand years back in striped pants, pink shirts, patent leather shoes on their lean dog feet. Sneakers and green pullovers, hanging relaxed arms, hair, feet, hips, and eyes. They're jumping and joying this minute over the bones of Persian sailors, leaning into the light with sexy steps, delicious idiot smile, and young teeth and flowers in their ears. Echoes of Harlem in Athens, hail to your weeping eyes. New York. Hail to the noise wherever the jukebox is on too loud <laughs> that the muses are loose in the world again with their big black voices and bazooki blues. The muses with their bongos, electric guitars, accordions, microphones, big beat making Havana happy, mambo moving delicate London. Liar in tin clarinet prophesying in Delphos. Crete jumping again. Paniotis dancing alone, stepped off drunk from a crater. Yorga slapping his heels and kicking the head of Cerberus. Dooby dooby reigns forever on the shores. One drachma for blackjack. One drachma brings on Aharisti again. Nati tema fez. Apocalypse Rock. Open the door, Richard. I'm casting a spell on you. End of history, rag. <laughs> the Olympics have descended into the red velvet basement theaters of Centrum. Long, long hair over those skeleton boys. Thin black ties and pale, handsome cheeks. And screams and screams when the applause rises to ecstasy and this new generation of buttocks and eyes and tender nipples clap thousand-handed in great ancient rhythm. Because the body moves again. The body dances again. The body sings again. The body screams newborn after war. Infants cursed with cold jails and the secret deaths of the 50s of Czechoslovakia. Now girls with new breath and striplings with the soft golden hair of puberty. Screams, screams, screams 1,000 voices at once, five minutes long, saluting 
the meat god of the 20th century that moves through the theater like the secret rhythm of the belly and orgasm. Corky, resurrected Christ, Maitreya, at last, grim Kronos, weeps tired into the saxophone. The earth is saved. Next number, she's a woman. On the red electric guitar, and Ganymede emerges stomping his feet for joy on the stage and bows to the ground and weeping gives. Oh, the power of the god on his throne, surrounded by a battery of white drums with his right hand scepter beating constantly into the brass cymbals. 